Hello everybody, this is Brett Gombe from Stir Crazy. Hello auntie, hello uncle. Today we're doing butter chicken, a nice Indian dish. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's Brett, Stir Crazy Cooking School. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a lucky week last week and looking at all our recipes. Um, today we're doing a butter chicken. Um, so I'm going to sh show you through some of the processes of how we put all of that together. And uh, yeah, an interesting thing about the butter chicken dish is that we're going to make it, but we're only going to cook it tomorrow because you need to rest it overnight. But before we go into that, um, I want to ask you guys to please, um, on Facebook, post um, some suggestions and also tag us in videos if you guys are sending it on. It always helps us to actually spread the news and also to get uh, word out there about these fantastic recipes. Um, also watch out for our um, show on Tuesday and Thursday. We're doing a naan bread tomorrow, which will go very well with your butter chicken recipe. So if you, obviously if you make your butter chicken tonight, it rests overnight, and then you make your naan bread tomorrow, you've got a fantastic meal set up for you. So, yeah, let's kick off. Firstly, the wine that I was drinking here is, goes really well with this recipe. Can you just zoom in on that, Brenda? That's a Jordan, the Prospector. It's a Syrah. Uh, quite a nice light drinking wine. You've got a, a notes of pepper, a bit of leathery, um, and raspberry. And it's a really delicious wine. So, cheers. And yeah, get all your wines out, guys. It's time to, it's five o'clock. You need to get a wine, glass of wine in your hand. Okay, so let's move over here. Um, we're going to start off by, well, these are all the ingredients we're going to use. So these ingredients over here are for um, a garam masala. If you can't get one of these, this is a garam masala that we generally use, which is um, from Cape Urban Spice. But I'm going to show you how to make your own garam masala tonight. And then with that, we've got, um, there's a bit of cashew, there's some chili, some, um, I've got a condiment vinegar here ginger tomato paste if you just move over this way obviously our chicken breast because you're making butter chicken there's some onion a bit of cardamom which looks like that if you're not familiar with cardamom I'll show you how to work that a little bit of uh, cinnamon some paprika obviously butter tomato paste yogurt and some chicken stock and that's pretty much what we're using oh we've also got some garlic here so I'm going to start off by firing this up and we're going to cook we're literally going to roast these um, cashew nuts and the cashew nuts form part of a paste that we're going to be making which is going to form the basis of um, our uh, chicken dish. Okay, so while that's cooking I'm going to chop up the chicken and when you're chopping up the chicken, you can come in a bit closer here, when you're chopping up the chicken you need to chop it into nice little bite-sized chunks like that. Um, I'm just taking the little fillet off. I'll show you again now. And we just split the chicken into parts like that. That's pretty much all we do. So we've got two parts of the chicken. You've got the tenderloin, which is that section. I'm just going to cut that off. And you slice the chicken breast straight down the middle. And chop that up. So you're getting these nice chunky bits in the chicken. Or in the dish, I suppose. And then uh, we're just going to stick this into a bowl um, and then we're going to get making our seasonings for the dish. Right, so that can all go in here. Just tuck that in that. Okay, so that we're going to put all our other stuff in later. Right, so let me just turn this cashew around. So you want the cashews just to brown a little bit. You can see they're starting to get a little bit brown, not too much. I'm going to leave it on for a little bit longer. Can you okay. tell Josh quickly tomorrow is the braai pizza he wants to know? Or the, the who? The braai pizza. Josh? Okay, so the braai pizza I think is happening on Thursday. So Thursday we're doing the braai pizza. Tomorrow evening we're doing the naan bread which goes with this dish. So yeah, look out for the braai pizza. And guys also, if your families get your kids together for the braai pizza, because that's quite a great thing to do with your kids. You can actually do a whole bunch of stuff on the braai. Apparently the weather is warming up. This is also why we chose this dish today, because this is a really nice dish to do in this sort of weather. Um, but on Thursday, yeah, get your kids together. They can put a whole lot of toppings on the braai pizza. It's going to be a real fun cooking session. Okay, so if you look here, this is more or less what your, your nuts should look like. 
Okay, I'm going to take that off and just put this straight into our, our blending bowl. Okay, now for garam masala, garam masala is coriander. So I've got three tablespoons of coriander, which I'm going to put in here. Three tablespoons of um, cumin. I've got two, three of, uh, two teaspoons of black pepper. This is actually um, seeded cardamom. So it's the seeds from inside there, which I've stuck in here. I'm going to add that in there. About eight cloves cinnamon and that's pretty much it so this is the as we dry fry it and the reason we dry fry it is so that it allows the spices to release um, their flavors it dries the spices out a little bit and um, it makes it easier to grind but the flavors you can see it's all smoking now the flavors that come off this are spectacular okay so when it starts smoking like this you know it's more or less ready okay I'm just going to turn that off and I'll put these into my spice blender. You can actually use a coffee grinder or anything like that if you want to. I'll put this on quickly. And I'm just going to grind this up. This is a, that is a sort of a coffee grinder. So that's all nicely ground up. And this, the smell that you get out of here is fantastic. It's a this really nutty, spicy smell. And we're going to use this in our in our butter chicken. Okay, so that's the first step. What we're going to do now um, is we're going to take some garlic. You can come focus in here. So um, I'm going to actually take this. So what I've got in here is I've got cashew nuts. I'm going to take a teaspoon or two of garam masala and put it into that as well. Then I'm going to take my chili and add it into that. So this is all going to be blended shortly. When we do garlic, guys, I'm just going to, this garlic I'm going to chuck straight in. So you lose about five or six cloves of garlic. But to clean garlic, you literally just smash it like that. And that comes off quite easily. Your shells come off quite easily on that. And you literally just bomb this straight into the, the blender. Now I'm going to do the same thing with uh, the ginger. We don't need to chop everything up because this is all being stuck into a blender. So with ginger, I need probably about a small, let's call it a thumb of ginger. I'm just going to break that off. The quickest way to clean it is to just take a spoon and uh, just pull it off like this. The other day I showed you how to grate it. So you can actually take a whole piece of ginger like this and grate it. And all the skins will come off anyway. Um, and you leave all the skin and the, um, the fibers behind in the ginger. Okay, so that goes straight in there. I've got about um, 50 ml of uh, vinegar here, which I'm adding. I've got some tomato paste, which I'm putting in there as well. And I've got some salt. Add my salt to that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to blend this up. So let's just use that. And this forms a paste that I'm going to be putting into the whole dish later. You, you, don't want to, you don't want to cook it up or blend it up too much. I quite like it quite rough still. So you're getting these sort of chunks in here. So um, let me just show you what it looks like now. So you can see it's not very fine. And you've just got enough moisture in here to blend it up nicely. So if you look at it inside, it's quite, it's quite chunky. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my yogurt into this. So I've got about a cup of yogurt that goes into there. Chuck all of that in. And this is going to go in with the chicken. And I promise you guys, when you make this recipe, you will be delighted because you can find, I've never found a restaurant that actually makes a recipe as nice as this, or that tastes as nice as this. It's definitely the best tasting butter chicken recipe I've ever, ever tasted. Okay, so you blend this up quite nicely. You can see you're just mixing it up, so you're getting this nice sort of paste in here. 
nice and thick. And I'm going to take this and we're going to chuck this straight over the chicken. Okay, so there's this beautiful color of sort of pinkish color that's coming out of here with all the spices and garlic and everything in there. Guys, if you have any questions, just post them on Facebook as well and we'll answer those. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that up nicely and see how that looks. And then what you do with this is you actually take this and we're going to refrigerate this overnight. Um, ideally, you want to put it overnight, but um, if you want to shorten the time, you can probably put it in the fridge for about six hours. So you can make this in the morning um, and then cook it up in the evening. That's also sufficient time to actually keep it going. Okay, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Jackie Butler says it's looking fabulous. Cool. I'll take that away from me. All right. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start cooking the other bits and pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is take um, my cardamom pods, and it says to bruise the cardamom pods in your recipe. So bruising it is just taking those pods, and we're just going to hammer them a little bit, so that they look like that. Okay, so they're broken up. All right. Then I'm going to take onions, and we're going to add this to the pot. And I'll just show you how to cut an onion quickly. A lot of people ask, how do you cut onions? Okay, so you can come zoom in here. So a quick way to cut onion and to dice onion is to cut it in half like this. A lot of people keep the end on. I generally don't keep the end on. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I just slice it, I slice it all the way through like that. But you hold the whole thing together. Okay, and you need quite a sharp knife for this. And I'm just going to put one slice through there. And then you literally just slice it and that dices it up quite nicely. Okay, that's a perfect dice. So I'll show you again. You can cut it as many times as you want to through there. Cut it halfway through. And then slice that up nicely. Remember to hold your hand like a claw like we showed you last time. There we go. And that can also go inside the pot. Right, so we're going to fire this up a little bit. Stick that in as well. Okay, and uh, we work with this really delicious olive oil. I don't know if you guys have seen this olive oil before, Willow Creek. Um, and this is a fantastic olive oil. It's got really nice flavors. You can actually drink this as it is. Often you have, you obviously dip it with bread or you can add some balsamic into it. Um, they've also got some flavored olive oils which are really nice. So um, an olive oil that would work really well with this dish is you get a lime flavored one or you even get a chili flavored one that you can actually add into this dish. Right, so we're going to cook that up a little bit. So the first thing is, is softening the onions. You can actually focus on that. Hey Tiff, she says tomorrow night's dinner is sorted. Who's that? Tiffany. Love okay. It. I'm going to add my cardamom pods into that. We've got sticks of cinnamon. Now, a lot of people um, like taking the cardamom pods out. And they say that you know, when you're cooking a butter chicken and you leave the cardamom pods whole, it's like sabotaging people because they bite into those cardamom pods and they actually taste quite funny. I quite like biting into those, but then also with cinnamon. So this, you add the cinnamon into this, um, and if you want to, you can take that cinnamon out again. Okay, so we're literally just going to sweat the onion here. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can add a little bit more garam masala, and also if you want to, a little bit more spiciness, you can add a little bit more chicken into this dish. Okay. Right, I'm going to add some butter in here. So we're adding about 80 grams of butter in here. And this is where the whole butter chicken comes from. So we add a little bit of oil just to loosen it, and then obviously the butter. That's going to melt nicely. have another sip of wine. Cheers everyone. Okay, so this is going to take a little while to cook and then what we're going to do is add the chicken to that. So what we've done is obviously we made this beforehand, 
So this is what was resting overnight. Um, so that's been sitting there for about, geez, how long? Eight hours or so. So when this batter and everything is, is cooked down, I'm going to add the chicken into that. And we allow that to cook for about 10 minutes or so. So are there any questions in the meantime while we just wait for this to, to get going? Tooks also said, she says, you make cutting onions look like a breeze. She said, you are wrong for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tips. Nice to hear from you, by the way. Okay. Um, so we've got our yogurt in here. This is, and the nice thing about the, well, the reason they call this butter chicken is actually when it starts cooking, and I'll show you a little bit later, is when it is cooking, you get all this the oil from the butter coming through, and it gets this rich red color um, from the chicken. Okay. So this is ready, you can focus on here. Okay, as soon as that's done, then we add the, the chicken in. And I'm going to short circuit this a little bit just for the sake of it. So mix that all up nicely. And then we're going to add um, some tomato paste, literally, sorry, puree, a whole tin of tomato puree. Mix that up. And then a little bit of paprika, so there's about a teaspoon of paprika. I quite like using the smoked paprika. Now you get two different types of paprika. It's your standard paprika, but the smoky one adds this really nice flavor, um, quite an intense flavor to the, the butter chicken. It makes a big difference to the, to the dish. And we're going to add a little bit of, of um, chicken stock into here. Okay. There we go. And then when this starts boiling, you can actually get this up to the boil. And when it starts boiling, we can turn it down. So you'll see it starts bubbling in certain areas. As soon as that starts happening, we can turn it down to a, a slow simmer. Okay, now here's a trick I'm going to show you. Voila, there's a batter chicken that has been cooking for probably about uh, 20 odd minutes and you can see the richness of the, the tomato and the, um, the batter coming through there, which looks fantastic. It's going to give that a bit of a mix up. Okay, look at the color in there. That is really, really nice looking. Sure, that looks fantastic. So this is really, really a good dish, guys. I suggest you make it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to dish up. I'm going to grab this paste more, please. Uh, let me just get a quick spatula. Okay, so this is pretty much ready. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a bit of cream to that. You can focus on here. So just... Add a little bit of cream. This cream's got a bit thick for some reason. And that lightens the dish quite nicely, but it also adds a really good richness to the, to the dish. Okay. And uh, you can also add this when you serve it and actually put it into a bowl. You can actually just add a little bit of cream as well. well ideally, what you want to do is um, put some coriander in here. Uh, we don't have any coriander in lockdown because coriander doesn't last very long. But, um, yeah, we're just going to dish it up just like that. Look at the real perfect richness of that. Mm. It looks fantastic. Okay, and there we go. First one. Butter chicken in a flash. So, guys, I suggest what you do is if, you, if you've got your ingredients ready, just uh, let that sit in the fridge tonight, and then tomorrow you can make that. And uh, yeah, enjoy it with some naan bread. So tomorrow, watch Jody, who's going to be preparing some naan bread. He's actually going to show you how to make a proper naan bread um, over a, yeah, some sort of burner. I don't know what he's got at home, but let's see what he has at home. And then you can add this to this dish. And quite a simple dish, literally just the butter chicken, a bit of rice, and you can stick your naan bread on the side, and that makes up a full meal. Okay, so that's it for this evening, guys. Thanks for watching.
get some good wine, get some good butter chicken, and uh, I promise you, this is the best recipe you'll ever taste for butter chicken. Cheers.